All right, we're here. We got Chris Guy in here with us, and um, we're gonna do lesson three. <laughs> lesson three, flying this uh, beautiful bird here. So let's get to it. It's complete walk around, complete seat belt, chart harness on, seat belt, on, rotor brake release, and pull forward. And fuel shutoff valve is on. Chris grip is in idle. Hydraulic pressure switch coil on. Forward, engine selector switch off. And batteries off. Day selectors on. So when you release that, watch the sweep on the torque. Yeah. Hundred, you always want to see that. Hundred back to zero. Okay. It only does it on the B3E. Okay. Yeah. Our test checked. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And CPW lights, which are that. that yeah. Which are already. Oh, we did. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So it's like twice. Caution one warning panel. Yeah. Okay. Jim, Peter, Servo, Engine, Fuel Pump, Horn, Hydraulic 1, 2, Hydraulic 2, MPP, Test Group. Okay. Now start power, Servo Test, I like Extinguish. There we go. And Data Page, No Messages, Clear. Vehicle Page, No Message, Voltage, Batteries above 22. Leave Valve is open. And control pedal speed. Current. Cool. Cyclic centric, uh, cyclic center lock adjusted free. That was already good. Uh, collective, or that cyclic, and then the collective's here. Heating uh, AC is off. It should be like right in the middle there. Right there. Yeah. Okay. Alright, and just start our CPI government light extinguish. Which is the caution warning panel. Nothing, right? Yep, the caution warning panel. Okay, fuel pump's coming on. Is that one of your boys? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rating their landing. Yeah, <laughs> you know it. <laughs> so like, totally could be better. It's funny. Uh, right. I do the same with helicopter pilots. Mm. All right, here we go. Clear right. Clear left. So your voltage, it's got to be the same in the airplane. It's always going to drop initially, right? Yeah. And then come back up once the generator kicks on. Generator kicks on and we're charged. Yeah. So it should be about 40. Yeah. So now it's coming back up. So it's already on right? Yep. Okay. Oh. And then see how it goes from the three data page? Yeah. Now over to one FLI. Uh, check, check. Yes, sir. All right. All right. The uh, servos off. Needles, uh, like six days. Fuel pump is off. Avionics are off. Power not being used. Gen and batteries. Plus 25, 27. Okay. Yeah, just, so the voltage should always sit like right around there to 28. 28, so yeah. 28 uh, altered here. Oh, yeah. Is it a generator starter? Yep. 
Metallica. Uh, hydraulic check. Verbal test. So yeah, all you're doing is checking the continuity of the system. The servo light comes on, comes off. Okay. Twist grip flight position. And then remember horn 340. Left downwind for runway 30 left, established the downwind for the Santa Fe for uh, 245 Delta Sierra. This is one. So this is one. Just changing. Yeah, what the hell? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Does uh, Paul still own that, that hangar right down there? Which one? That hangar right on the end. Does Paul? Yeah. No. That oh. one's by, uh, it's owned by uh, Richard Harris. That's what I love about helicopters, man. Land whatever you want to take off, however you want. So we'll do some, uh, we'll plan on doing some groundwork over G, dude. Um, I'll tell you once we get out of the airspace. Okay. There he is. I got him. Traffic inside for the Cessna on 2 to right. Total approach to the numbers. I usually start out with something simple, just as a good warm up. Alright, where's the flag today? I don't see it blowing. No. Change traffic with other 5125, short final, 20 left. So, how's your side picture? Okay. All right. Slow down just a little bit. to arrest that rated set, bring that power in there, you go. Bring it in just a little earlier. Come into a nice three to five foot hover, stabilize. Hell yeah, dude, good job. Nice and stable, man, what a difference light winds make, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, off we go, normal takeoff. Looking for that 40 knot attitude. That was down just a little bit. Good. Hold that, maintain that, and then once you get that 40 knots in, bring in the power. And then you'll climb out nice and smooth. With a tad aft. There you go, nice. Hell yeah, dude. Winds right down the pipe, very yeah, light, dude. Nice. It's gonna be <laughs> nice. <laughs> Coming up fast all day. Yeah. Yesterday was rough. Okay, uh, shallow approach. Okay. Change traffic, helicopter 5125 is the left downwind for 20 left. Change traffic 1692, departed runway 20 right, right traffic 20 right. Other helicopter, Did, didn't it look like an EC? Yeah, it looked like a 130. Almost looked like a Sundance airplane. Yeah, yeah totally, dude. Yeah. 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 Look at kind of colors. Yeah. This used to be a women's prison, dude. 
Yeah, yeah this still is still active. Yeah. Gotta I, be. That's what I heard it was. I don't see any by activity, but... Yeah. But I think also the one up by uh, the Speedway as well, right? That's the one that's prison as well. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't know if I've ever noticed that. Yeah, it's like... You'll see the sign on the 15. It says, no pitching of hitchhiker. Ah! <laughs> Engine traffic, helicopter 5125, the left base, 20 left. Unless she's hot. <laughs> there you go. So remember, coordinate those, the collective changes with the pedals. Terminated just a little bit earlier. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right. Uh, do a max performance. Okay. Hold that aft in a little aft. I want you going straight up. All right. You clear of your obstacle. Forward airspeed. All right, steep approach. Okay. G traffic helicopter five one two five left cross uh, left cross and off and left two zero left left traffic. I feel like the collective gets stuck in the center. Is that just stiff? Not the collective, the cyclic. The cyclic? Yeah. Yeah, it could be the friction, man. Those plates. But it's like, I, I get to the... Oh, okay, that's a lot better. Yeah, it feels like a dead spot, and I can't go to the right, so I'm having this one. Yep. Plate. Okay. It's the plates. See how those silver plates? Yeah. Like, uh, they kind of just slide on top of each other. Okay. And, um... It, yeah, yeah, that's a lot better now. Oh, good. It feels like it was, like, sticky, and I'm not having to... Yep, use a lot of different forces. So. I know what you're talking about, and that's just exactly what you just did. Just an adjustment of the, the, the friction will change that. Traffic one six nine two Lima turn in final runway two zero. Straight traffic helicopter five one two five left base two zero left. Got the set on site there, Roger. Nice, slow, controlled, precision, steep approach. numbers on top of the panel and just ride that site down. 
keep walking it forward just a little bit. There you go, rest that rate of descent, watch that rate of descent. This one is where you want to keep that 300 feet per minute okay. rate of descent in check. Now you're on top of it, it's all good. Just really control, so bring in just a little more power and walk it in even slower. Slower. Yep. So hold your spot and just continue down. A little more power. Control that. We're still in ETL, you can hear it and feel it. Bring it over to your side, stay centered. Approaches are tricky. Good, center up. Center up over the, the runway. Okay. Good. And normal takeoff. Good. So push through when you feel that vibration is when you want to give it a little push just like forward. Catch it forward. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Just to kind of push through ETL. Stay traffic 1692. You mind if I do a, a steep approach? Go for it. Okay, I got controls. All right, you're okay. Should feel and look a little different, you know. After me, we've been struggling in the wind. I feel like the last couple of days. Helicopter 125 is uh, left downwind for 20 left. Team. As I'm lowering, I'm giving it left pedal. I'm starting to set up for my steep approach out here. Starting to just gently slow down, not slow down too much, but just getting ahead of the aircraft.
Traffic 327 on my exit. Traffic on Upland. We're going to do a left 363 here. We'll just fall behind you guys. Okay, we got you inside. We see you there to the southwest. And got my numbers and my we'll LZ in sight. Before you turn, before we turn across. Do you want to turn in front of you? So up here, I'm not too worried about, you know, my range of descent. Because okay. I get lower, I'm going to check that. Okay. Oh, no. I'm on top of it. I can't, yeah. No, I can, I can still see the numbers. Hey, we're going to go ahead and head south uh, over the, the, what is that? Now I I'm going to really start to check that rate of descent. So so we're a couple down hundred down feet down here. here. Yeah, that's, that's that. We're just gonna come you can feel that ETL? Just small pressures all the way in. The traffic one six nine two. We're gonna depart to the south, so we leave the path. It's one of those. It, it's a maneuver that you. Take your time on. Yeah. Take your time. You got controls. Oh yeah, I got controls. Got it. All right, give me a no hover max performance. All right, no hover max performance. Hold that aft in. No forward airspeed. Stay to the right. There you go, there you go. Coordinate with the pedals. And over your obstacle and forward your speed. Good job. Traffic, uh, helicopter 5125, left pattern work for 205. Alright, try that steep approach. Gene traffic, Sirius 227, single mic, midfield, right down with the colonel, to your right. Gene. Traffic, helicopter 5125 is left base, 20 left, and Sirius in sight, G.
your recognition right there. And now you're feeling that ETL. Keep walking that just a tad forward. Small pressure support cycling. Hold what you got, man. It's looking really good. Just hold what you got. Very minimal changes. Just stay coordinated. That was good, dude. That was a good approach, man. That was really good. <laughs> it was uh, way more coordinated and controlled, right? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome, dude. All right, let's do, let's do, let's do uh, just hover taxi work. Okay. So let's just do, um, let's go on the runway and let's hover taxi over there and then back around. Okay. So same thing, just maintain your five feet. So just, I, for this, I like to get a little higher. That way I know I got tail rotor clearance, all of our signs and all that stuff, you know? Okay. So five foot hover, maintain it with a collective. And just, it's basically just like a taxi in an airplane. cycling and a little bit with the collective so that's a that's a pretty good hover i'll just start transitioning forward stay centered up like you would in a plane work on the uh, controls, man. Really good. Just enough to maintain everything and everything is just, just micro pressures is all it really takes to fly this thing. Okay, 
Keen traffic zero, six or something, a mic, two hundred right, downwind, two five two zero right, Keen. Change traffic, out up to five one two five, taxi on runway two zero left, Keen. demonstrate a uh, quick stop so we're gonna put like a hover hover taxi and a quick stop are basically all in one okay all right I got controls you got controls all right so we'll do 50 feet and I'm looking for like 40 50 knots so it's a coordinated thing you don't want to be aggressive on the maneuver this is uh you could easily settle into power okay you know if you're too aggressive on it so just looking for the forward airspeed Good. And I'm just gonna get like 50 feet, roughly, and then I'm gonna uh, quick stop at the intersection or terminate at the intersection. All right, so I got a plane that's crossing, so this is where I'd want to do the quick stop. So feel that coordination on the pedals? Yeah. Yeah. So. I could have gone a little smoother. Then you want to terminate basically into a uh, steep approach. Let's just basically straight down from where you're at. Uh, let's see if. Um... G traffic helicopter 125 is just going to be doing uh, hover work on 20 left. G. Let's just come back, reset it. And then You're went into the flare, you're lowering the collective too, right? Exactly, yes. <laughs> and obviously a maneuver like this, you always want to have that headwind. Yeah. And if it was like a light, I mean it's pretty light, we, we could probably get away with doing it um, on both directions, but for training purposes, we'll just... <laughs> <laughs> bounce it. Hell, <laughs> bounce. Different view from up here. Watch it. <laughs> <laughs> totally, dude. All right, fifty-fifty, and then right before. All right, I'll let you know right before that intersection. We'll call it. So quick stop, okay. and then we'll just coordinate that together. Okay. All right, let me let me demo one more time. Okay. All right. And then just. Go to the controls with me. Right. That way you feel the coordination. Okay, got my 50 just leveling up. Oh, we lost GPS. Oh, there it is. There's it's fine. All right, initiating my quick stop. Traffic, but I'm leveling. I'm staying at the same altitude, not not losing my altitude, right? Yeah. Then once I'm stopped, once I've terminated it, then I'm gonna come down to a steep approach. So even though we're not moving, it says airspeed 30, so that's like just gotta be. Uh, yeah, that's that's okay. Yeah, that delay. Yeah, yeah totally. Traffic, 
So not an aggressive maneuver, nice and smooth and controlled. Precise. Alright, sir, you got controls. Alright, I got controls. You got. So 50-50, what you're looking for. Airspeed's coming in. Gently pop up to your 50 feet and then maintain it with the collective. Let's start to level off right now. Level off just a little bit. Nose up. They start initiating quick stop. Smooth, smooth, smooth. Now level off on your altitude. Capture that altitude. So if you maintain that, you're terminated totally. Good. And then just bring it down to a steep approach. Your spot. Good. Not bad for your first one. Let's go back. Reset. Do it again. Oh, a lot, obviously a lot of coordination in there, right? Yeah. It'll come. It'll come. Gene, traffic, sir. If it's something about train bottom of my two zero right, Gene. So as you're lowering that collective, left pedal, as you're bringing the power back in to arrest that, uh, uh, terminate the maneuver, maneuver, right pedal. Lower, left pedal, increasing, right pedal. While keeping the aircraft nice and centered, doing your best. All right, so come down into a five-footer. Spin it around, get set up. Uh, nine two Lima, you have frequency. Traffic. We are one six nine two Lima. Are you gonna just uh, maneuver it over the Amazon? Can you repeat that? Uh, you're gonna just stay over the Ivan Pass on airway. Yeah, we'll stay here if you need it. Uh, is that you to the northeast there? Uh, no, it's got F2, uh, 6,000 pounds at the right above the casino. Okay, we'll come further south then and stay out of the way. You're talking about, uh, Prim or? Uh, Prim Casino. Oh, just south of okay. Gene. Okay. Yeah, Prim Casino. Same thing, 50 feet, yeah, we'll come further 50 south knots. for you. Give us a minute. Yeah, we're we'll pop up to your altitude. altitude. And then, yes, level it off, maintain that airspeed. Just hold the airspeed. A little more airspeed. And quick stop. Left, right pedal, right pedal. Maintain your altitude. Have so much power it wants to climb right away. <laughs> it does, dude. Yeah. So just, just gently raise that collective, nice and smooth. Good. Yeah. Keep coming down. We'll bring it into that five foot hover. Yeah. Good. All right. Let's go do it again. So an air taxi is basically what we're doing right now. Okay. So it's, air, it, it, it's like uh, really no different. So say we are on the other runway, we are going to an FBO. This is pretty common that I've had to, uh, my experiences, I've had to use air, uh, air taxis. Um, I gotta go across runways to get to an FBO or something, yeah, and then the tower will clear me for an air taxi over to Atlantic FBO, and then, you know, that way I'm just going direct, and then I use this 50-50, 50 feet, 50, 50, 50 knots, uh -huh. it's expediting your taxi over there, yeah. and then I'm always terminating with uh, the, the steepest 
Yeah, exactly. Your your uh, flare. Sorry. Quick stop. All right. Fifty fifty. You got it. And quick stop. A little more, a little more flare, and then pulling that power in as you're flaring, and then forward cyclic to level out, and then just hold that out. See, good, good, good. Now bring it down. The, uh, your coordination was much better on that one. You could have just been just a little more on the flare. Okay. It was kind of like a baby flare. Okay. <laughs> yeah, bring that bad boy up. Okay, let's do it one more time. Let's do it to the numbers. All right. I mean, uh, the friction started to tight or something. Yeah, it feels weird. There you go. Okay. Good? Yep. Okay. All right. Got it. Pop it up. Level it out. And quick stop. Good. Hold that. Power in, level out. Settling with power, so the things you need, the ingredients you need to get into settling with power is a power on situation, uh, basically next to zero airspeed, and uh, I said power on, right? Power on, zero airspeed, and a rate of descent greater than 300 feet per minute. Okay. So, all right, you got controls. Okay, so just let's bring that airspeed into zero. Now what we're going to do is we're going to watch our rate of descent, bring that airspeed to zero, watch that rate of descent. Once you watch to see that rate of descent, go into 500 feet. You know what, I'll demo the first one. Okay. I got controls. I got control. Now we got zero airspeed, now we're, we're starting to descend, right? Yep. Okay. We may not be able to get into it because this thing's got so much power, dude. So I'm just going to hold what we got. We're basically in an out of ground effect hover right here, right? Oh, so, yeah, see, it's hard because I'm not getting any. Hey, We're holding it like 300 feet per minute. Over to see you in two minutes. Please so the aircraft is going to shudder. There we go. You can feel it. You can feel it. See that? Feel it? See okay. how the aircraft is starting to shudder? Yeah. Look at that rate of descent now. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to maintain, I'm going to bring back in the airspeed. Watch the airspeed as I fly out of those vortices. I'm gonna bring the power back in and level out and fly out of it. I only lost 300 feet there. We're huh. basically 500 feet per minute or 5,000 feet. So it's a different shutter than the exactly ETL shutter. Right? Exactly. Yeah. You could feel it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Kind of like a stall. Kind of. Yeah. Kind yeah. Of, exactly. Kind of like a rumble over stall. Well, it is. It, yeah. It is, it is stalling, right? Yeah. Yeah. It is 100%. I'll do it. I'll do it one more time. No, we can't get into it. I mean, I was basically holding like five, right where we're at right now as far as power, dude. You know, which is nothing for this aircraft. We could easily blown out of it. Yeah, this thing's got power for days. Yeah. All right, get that 5,000 feet per back. back. Aiming it west because uh, it's saying the winds are out of the west up here. Junior area traffic, Cherokee 4269 Tango, passing through 5000 inbound to Gene from the northwest, touch and goes to left, Gene Charlie. Alright, into the wind, I've got my altitude, and I'm just looking for that airspeed to go zero. 
So it's a power on, we've got power, power on situation. We're gonna go into basically zero airspeed and a rate of descent greater than 300 feet per minute. Okay, that's saying zero airspeed, so now we're just watching. I can feel it kind of start to settle, watch the rate of descent. There we go. You can feel it starting to come down. Now I'm looking for greater than, there it is, there's, and you can feel the shutter, right? Yeah. So all it is is a simple forward, forward cyclic. I'm flying out of those vortices, simultaneously bringing the power back in. Airspeed's in, and I captured, dude, we only lost like 40 feet. Uh, yeah. Aircraft November 78626, you have frequency? Yeah, frequency, what's up? I'm just curious uh, if you guys are operating at the box or if you guys are doing local patterns here at G. Alright, so all these, the uh, that rated descent, look for, and thousand, then you'll feel that shutter. We got controls. Okay. I'm going to be staying out of here towards the west just for a few more minutes and then heading back towards the desert. Alright, cool, thanks. Six nine, take go. So let's do, let's use 5,000 feet as our starting point. We're looking for zero airspeed. Watching that rate of descent. And then the recovery is just forward cyclic, simultaneously bringing, you're flying out of the vortices and bringing in that power simultaneously. Okay. And then just level out. You don't want to continue nose diving. Okay. Just move out of the vortex. Exactly. There's another maneuver that's called the, the Vasari maneuver, uh -huh. and it's <clears throat> it's even easier, man. And you lose maybe like we're not even losing that much, man. Um, this one is sidestepping the vortices, uh -huh. so you're basically just moving to the side of it laterally. Wait, there you go. Hold that. Now let's zero out that airspeed. What you got, just a small pressure. Boom. Airspeed's coming down. Altitude's good. We're gonna start feeling that shutter. There's a rate of descent. Here comes the shutter. A little more, a little more. Forward airspeed. There it is right there. Yep. Simultaneously bringing in the power and level out of it. Level out. There you go. You only lost 200 feet. Easy. All right, do it again. Pretty simple maneuver, right? Yeah. It's all a matter of recognizing it, right? That's going to get you out out of the situation. that there's a zero hour speed, we're already kind of settling right now. You can feel it, just gentle forward out of it. Now bring the power back, because you're already out of the vortices, you can feel it. The aircraft get out of them. Do it again. There you go. G traffic, Skyhawk 677 of Delta 4000. Uh, about eight miles to the north, looking to enter pattern traffic or for landing. Uh, G traffic, Turkey 4269 Tango is uh, turning left base, uh, runway two left, and more visual than jumpers. G traffic. Power Here, on, zero airspeed. Here comes the uh, rate of descent. That shutter is increasing. Yep, forward cyclic. Increasing the power. Forward cyclic. Increasing the power, flying out of it, leveling out. Dude, you only lost maybe like 40 feet. One more time. I think for the PTS standards, I think it's like plus or minus 200 feet or something like that. Really? Yeah, for a private pilot. Oh, nice. Hey, you guys switch to now. There we go. Perfect. I like five, six hundred feet. Ready to descend before I recover. That's perfect, man. Got yeah, just bring in more power, more power to arrest it, and that level out. Okay. Oh, the wind saber and uh, the other runway. 
Perfect, dude. Uh, no, I have uh, no idea. Sweet. Let's go over to uh, two zero lift and uh, uh, let's shoot a straight in auto. Okay. Uh, Thirty nine hundred. Okay. Uh, traffic to about four miles south. Yep. Good. So remember down. I'll roll it off for you. That way you don't have to worry about it. I'll roll it off and then check the collective. I just want you to focus on that. A okay, center up, center up. Ready? Three, two, one. Down. Rolling off. Check the collective. Watch your RPMs. Check your RPMs. They're looking good. Looking good. We're kind of going to overshoot. It's all good. Just hold what you got. A little lower collective. Small pressure on lowering it. Hey, apologies about that again, uh, November Delta. I misunderstood your own call. I thought you were in the downwind, uh, not approaching the downwind. That's my fault. All good, man. No worries. Okay, start that flare. Start a nice flare. Let's roll on. I got it. Coordinate. Quick stop at the bottom here. Not bad. We were like on top of the, the, you know, we we made do with. I still think the fucking winds are behind us, yeah, right? I don't know why. Who switch? Um, yeah. Let's go do it again. Give yourself uh, enough time. Okay. So extend out. Give yourself enough time that you can set in straight up for that. Change traffic. I got the five one two five right crosswind to right. Yeah, it's kind of a, we had to do kind of a high flare because we were like right on top of the end of the runway there. Like to see it come down just a little lower. Have okay. that nice quick stop flare. We'll roll on through the flare and, and terminate it. I feel like there was like too much shit going on right there. Two <laughs> traffic, Cherokee six nine tango downwind two uh, G. Got him below us. All right, first intersection. Okay. Team traffic, Cherokee, 6 Iron Tango, final 2 left, team. Change traffic, helicopter 5, 1, 2, 5, right base, uh, final 2 right. Alright, okay, 3, 2, 1, down, I'm rolling off, check it. Good, hold it, don't, don't bleed the airspeed off too much. Good, just small pressure, uh, lower the collective. Good, check it. Now that you lowered it, you gotta bring that check in. Now it's kinda high on the green. Start bleeding the airspeed off just a little bit, just a tad. Looking good, hold what you got, hold what you got. I don't care if you blow past it. Everything's looking really good. RPMs are good, airspeed's good. Just hold what you got. Okay, start that baby flare. More, 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 rolling on. Level out. Terminate. Terminate, terminate. Stop it, stop it, stop it. <laughs> Not bad. Way better, dude. Way better than, I mean, yesterday was learning. You were struggling from the win. I would say that was your best auto yet. Um, at the bottom end there, let's just... Let's follow through on that quick stop and level out on your your uh, the altitude that you're at. Okay. Otherwise, if I'm when I'm leveling off, uh, I'm trying to kill this airspeed to zero. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Terminate it totally. Okay. Yep. And then just bring it into a hover. So being if we were doing like a full down, we'd continue this all the way, obviously down to the ground. Yeah. Uh, one other thing that we'll work on it uh, Friday, dude. Uh, we'll I'll introduce you to hover autos. And that's going to be kind of like, if we were doing pull downs, that'll be your final, 
piece of doing a, a full pull down auto is, is learning to hover auto. Jay traffic helicopter 5125, right, uh, crosswind, 2 right, G. Yeah, it was a really good auto, man. So you had everything, you had to make a few adjustments on the RPMs, but then you captured it, and the, the airspeed coming down was perfect, dude. That's how you want to do it. You just want to hold everything that you got, kind of freeze on the controls. If you have to make changes, just small pressures on the controls, and then wait for a reaction to the aircraft. Traffic turkey, six iron tango, down one, two, lift three. Yo, got him? Got him. Base. I'm about to take a power, then I'm going to pour it down to the uh, top north. Why is he so low? <laughs> totally. Uh, yeah, we kind of. North Las Vegas Tower, Mason Juliet, time 19340, wind 340 at 8, that's 15, temperature 11, dew point minus 7, altimeter 3014. Visual approach, runway 30 left in the east for landing and departing, runway 30 left, runway 30 right, runway 25. Juliet. Delta Alpha, runway 30 left, cleared to land, traffic will be departing, cleared to arrival. 30 left, cleared to land, and traffic will be arrived before I'm auto, uh, before facing the flight of the cover. Something new. Yeah. And North Las Vegas Tower, helicopter 5125, five, is over Lone Mountain, close to Juliet for the south ramp. Helicopter 5125, North Las Vegas Tower, landing south ramp will be at Toronto. Landing south ramp, zone risk, 5-1-2-5. Las Vegas Tower, it is 2 in Macron, altimeter 3014, 0 one 4 0 one 0 at 4 Ah, uh, nothing. Number 6-9, I think, are we following a diamond who's approaching in midfield, downwind for runway 0 So we can come in over the ramp side and in too, right? Not have totally. to worry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as you're not over an active, you can come in over the taxiways or the ramp side. Or the ramp side, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, because I seem like it's such a high approach coming in from that south side there and so close to the traffic pattern is like I don't like being close to guys right there. Yeah, yeah. I know I feel you, I feel you. Well, one thing you can do is, you know, it, when the winds are out of like the three zeros like they were yesterday and we come in that side. Yeah. And I was kinda telling you, go ex extend. So you're at least if you're staying on the uh, the west side, you're staying on that protected side, right? Yeah. So you could still, you know, uh, safely do that as long as you're actually, you know, as long as you're on that side, dude. Not, you're not encroaching on anything, and you know, just being vigilant of the fixed wing flow, obviously. But giving yourself enough time, if you do have to, typically you're always we're always going to come in direct to the south ramp from here, you know. I like coming in this way versus like what we were doing yesterday. Yeah, okay. Remember, 6 Tango, from a 3-0 left, clear to land. Traffic falling is now based to final. 6 Tango, 3-0 left, clear to land. Dude, we're helicopter, man. We can do whatever we want. Uh, <laughs> 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 Delta Alpha, Delta Alpha, Delta Alpha, Delta Alpha, Delta Alpha, Delta There's my boy's school right there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right on the recess. Yep. <laughs> Wind zero one zero at eight. My girls are all homeschool, so I know, dude. <laughs> I, I I totally love, dig that, man. I wish we could do it, but you know, yeah. both of us work full time. Yeah, freaking hard. When COVID hit, I, I really was trying to push it with my wife, and she's so like, I, I don't have time to do that. I can't do it. I'm six nine to go over. I think, it's, I think it's a great way, because the school system sucked, dude. Yeah, that, that's fucking garbage. But Tammy's like, screw it, we're doing homeschool. Like, I like it, man. Good for you. Nevada's got pretty, pretty bad. Uh, terrible. Yeah. Number 
27 Echo, traffic Cherokee on the left base for the parallel runway. Right, we have the next Cherokee 6 9 and Tango, traffic Cessna approaching the right base for the parallel runway. 6 9 Tango, we have that traffic site. Wind 0 1 0 the operation to make sure everything's running right. Yeah. Yeah, so I'll start setting up right now. Bring it in nice and slow. I'll take it all the way to your spot. All the way to your spot. Almost like, almost doing a steep approach. Wayne zero, one zero, at five. And number five, Delta Alpha, turn left Alpha, Alpha Romeo to the ramp. Turn left Alpha, Alpha Romeo to the ramp. Port the part of the thing, how do we Set yourself up behind it, and then we'll walk it forward. Number oh, six, nine, I think, oh, left turn on Charlie and taxi parking this frequency. Left turn on Charlie, taxi this frequency, power tango. Wind calm. yourself off straight in small pressures when you're when you're low like this just small pressures gentle Like staring down at it, it's okay. gonna fuck you up. So that's why you use that peripheral. Six zero whiskey. I dance six zero whiskey. I dance six zero whiskey. There you go, walking in. 
So just hold the altitude with the collective, hold the altitude. Now just gently walking in forward pressure. Small pressure is all it takes. Uh, squared up with the pedals. Good, good, good. Good. Come down just a little bit. As you're walking in, you want to start to kind of come down. Okay. Do it again, do it again. So I kind of do, as I'm coming into it, I kind of do this. I'm like lowering as I'm walking into it and lowering. So go, go behind and set up again. right over the dolly. Same thing. It's like my hands. So that bottom of the skid's like right here. So we want to like have the edge like right here. Yeah, it's totally fine, right? Yeah, totally. Yeah. I give it maybe, I put this bottom of the skid maybe a foot from the front. Oh yeah, it's way back there. Huh? Yeah. It's easy to overthink it and, and over control it. Just just like you did right here, just get over it and then just gently set it down. hardest things man it just it, it's practice right yeah you're uh, setting down onto a platform
Yeah, just wait our 30 seconds, 30 second shutdown. We're past 30 seconds. Wind 310 at 10, temperature 11, kill it. Minus 7, altimeter 3014, visual approach runway 30 left in use. Landing and departing runway 30 left, runway 30 right, and runway 25. All right, just finished lesson three. Got to go. Terrible. Terrible. He should stick to airplanes. <laughs> <laughs> that <a> good one. <laughs> He's doing awesome. It's going to be another helicopter pilot out there. Yeah, watch out. going to take my job. <laughs> So, yep, so I finished lesson three. Uh, great day today, winter calm. Was great. <laughs> and then, uh, I guess, Tori. Who's that? Tori. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Um, stay what tuned. Did, what did we work on today? Today we worked on uh, steep. We, we did the standard approaches. We did the quick stops. We did hover taxis some auto rotations, um, some settling of power recoveries, and uh, yeah, hover taxi was fun. Yeah, that's fun. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Good stuff. But uh, yeah, stay tuned, we'll get more. Um, don't forget to comment down below, like, subscribe. See you on the next video. Peace. Peace.